Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. In this lesson we're going to be learning about adding labels in groups in Civil 3D. Let's get started. In this exercise you'll use label sets to apply several types of labels to an alignment. You can automatically add labels as you create objects such as points, alignments, or parcels. Labeling an object automatically is an efficient way to annotate common elements such as alignment stations or parcel areas as they're created. In this exercise you will specify a label set to apply as you create an alignment from a polyline. Both the newly created alignment and its labels will reside in the current drawing. Next you'll learn how to modify the properties of the label set after the alignment has been created. Finally you'll learn how to apply a label set to an alignment that exists in an externally referenced drawing. So let's go about creating a label set for a new alignment. Note that this exercise uses the labels-1a drawing with the modifications you made in the previous exercise. Or you can open the labels-2a drawing in your tutorials folder. Let's start by clicking the home tab and then go to your Create Design panel. Select the Alignment drop-down and select Create Alignments from Objects. On the command line, enter in X to select the XREF option. Click the blue polyline that's off to the west. Then hit Enter twice. In the Create Alignments from Objects dialog box, go ahead and enter in a name. We're going to call this West Street. For the alignment style, make sure that it's on Proposed. Go ahead and examine the contents of the alignment label set. When you create an object, its Create dialog box typically has style selector lists for both the object and the labels. The style selector lists identify the object's styles and label styles that are available in the current drawing for that object type. When you create an alignment, profile, or section, you select a label set, which applies a preset style to each of the various label types that are in the set. You'll examine an example of a label set in the following steps. Notice that there is a No Labels selection. This selection is an empty label set, as you can see right here. This empty label set does not display any labels along the alignment. Note if you don't want to annotate objects that do not use label sets, you can create a label style that has the visibility of all of its components turned off. In the Alignment Label Set dialog box, click the drop down and select Major, Minor, and Geometry Points. Click this downward arrow and select Copy Current Selection. The Alignment Label Set dialog box displays information about how the Major, Minor, and Geometry Points label set is configured. You'll use this label set as the basis to create a new label set. The Information tab displays the label set name, description, and the date when it was created or modified. The Labels tab specifies the label types that are defined in the label set, as well as the label styles that are used by each type. In this example, you use the label set to apply label styles to the geometry points and major and minor stations of an alignment. Note label sets for profiles and sections are constructed in the same manner using a similar dialog box. Go ahead and go back into your information tab. And for the name, enter in major minor stations and start 
dash end points. Go ahead and click the labels tab. In the geometry points row, click this button in the style column. Select the alignment start label style and click OK. Now click this button in the geometry points to label column. We're going to go ahead and clear all of our checkboxes, but we're going to select the alignment beginning box and click OK. You can use geometry point label types to label a selection of geometry points using a combination of styles that you specify. In steps 8 and 9, you applied a geometry point label style to the alignment starting station. In the following steps, you'll create another instance of the geometry points label type that applies a different style to the alignment ending station. Note to remove a label type from the label set, select the type then select the red X button. In the Alignment Label Set dialog box on the Labels tab, specify the following parameters. Under Type, select the drop-down, then select Geometry Points. Now for the Geometry Point Label Style, we're going to select Alignment End. Then go ahead and click the Add button. In the Geometry Points dialog box, we're going to clear out all of our checkboxes and then we're going to select the alignment end. Go ahead and click OK. Now go ahead and click OK again and then under conversion options we want to make sure that we're adding curves between tangents. So make sure that that checkbox is checked. Then go ahead and click OK. Go ahead and zoom into the area surrounding the new alignment and you'll see all of our brand new labels that were automatically placed along the alignment. Now note that if station 243 is adjacent to the intersecting alignment, select your alignment, then in your contextual menu, click the modify drop down and select Reverse Direction. When the alignment is created, it's created in green. The green color is controlled by the alignment style that you specified in Step 3. Notice that the new red labels are brighter than the labels that were brought in with the externally referenced objects. The color tones are different so that you can easily identify where the labels reside. Bright labels are in the current drawing and the light labels are in the externally referenced drawings. You'll also note that warning symbols are created in the drawing to indicate where tangency has been violated. For more information, see to check for tangency between alignment entities. Let's modify the label set of an existing alignment. Now note changes that you make to the alignment label set after the alignment has been created will not be applied to the original label set. To edit the original label set, go to your tool space, click on the settings tab, expand alignment, and then label styles. After that, expand label sets. Right click the appropriate label set and click edit to edit the labels. In the drawing, select the West Street alignment. Right click and select Edit Alignment Labels. In the Alignment Labels dialog box, specify the following parameters. Under Type, select Geometry Points. Then for Geometry Point Label Style, we're going to leave it on Perpendicular with Tick and Line. Go ahead and click Add. We're going to go ahead and clear all of the checkboxes. Then select the following checkboxes.
tangent tangent intersect tangent curve intersect and curve tangent intersect then click OK then we can go ahead and click OK for all of our dialog boxes press escape to deselect the alignment and there you have it an alignment with a modified label set now let's go about adding labels to an alignment in a reference drawing. Click the Annotate tab. Look into the Labels and Tables panel. Click the drop down for Add Labels and then go under Alignment and select Add slash Edit Station Labels. Next, click on the Main Street alignment which is the longest alignment within the middle of the site. Because this alignment exists in an externally referenced drawing, the table in the Alignment Labels dialog box is empty, as you can see right here. Only labels that are created in the current drawing can be modified in the current drawing. Labels that were created in an externally referenced drawing must be modified in the source drawing. Within our dialog box, under Type, go ahead and select Geometry Points. We're going to leave our Geometry Point label style at its default. Then click Add. Note that the Import Label Set button applies a label set that exists in the current drawing. In the Geometry Points dialog box, go ahead and click OK. In the Alignment Labels dialog box, specify the following parameters. For type, we're going to specify design speeds. And then we're going to leave the design speed label style at its default. Then click Add. Now, go ahead and click OK. On the Main Street Alignment, labels, as you can see right here, are displayed at each station which a new design speed, as you can see right here, is applied. And at each geometry point, these label objects reside in the current drawing and annotate the alignment in the externally referenced drawing. So that's how you go about adding labels in groups in Civil 3D. If you'd like to learn more about Civil 3D workflow tips and tricks, visit AutoCADCivil3DTraining.com and be sure to sign up for future video notifications or click subscribe on our YouTube channel. Again, my name is Charles Ellison. Take care.